Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract a decimal from a whole number. So let's jump into the two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. For number one, we have nine minus 85 hundredths. And the first thing we need to do for this problem is set it up correctly. And at the top of your screen, we have a hint that we're going to use. So we need to line up the decimals and use placeholder zeros. So for number one, we start with nine. And you may be asking yourself, well, how are we supposed to line up the decimals if nine doesn't have a decimal? Well, the decimal isn't shown in the original problem, but every number has a decimal, even whole numbers. We can put the decimal right after any whole number. So now let's line up the 85 hundredths there, lining up our decimals. We can put our equal sign and subtraction sign. So lining up the decimals there will line up all of the places for us. Now that may look a little offset, but we can use placeholder zeros, so both of these numbers go to the hundredths place. Now, I can place zeros to the right of a decimal because it doesn't change the value of that nine. I didn't change the problem at all. That nine still has a value of nine. So now we just subtract. Now one of the most common mistakes would be just dropping that five and dropping that eight, but we need to borrow. So we need to borrow from this nine here, that's an eight. That becomes a 10, but we need to borrow again to bring that one over to the hundredths place. So now we have 10 minus five, which is five, nine minus eight, which is one. Bring your decimal straight down. So the decimal is lined up throughout the whole problem. Now eight minus zero is eight. And that's our final answer, eight and 15 hundredths. So let's go to another example here, number two, where we have 37 minus five and four tenths. So the first thing we do, line up the decimals. And remember, the decimal comes after any whole number. So now we can line up the five and four tenths. And we can use a placeholder zero here, so both numbers go to the tenths place. And remember, the most common mistake is just dropping that four without borrowing. So we need to borrow from the seven, so it's a six now, and we end up with 10 minus four, which is six. Bring your decimal straight down, it's lined up throughout the whole problem. Six minus five is one, and we have a three over here, so we end up with 31 and six tenths. So there you have it, there's how you subtract a decimal from a whole number. Line up your decimals, use placeholder zeros, and subtract. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.